Take that, foe! Hey everybody, it's Overkill here with another Warhammer Battle video. So today we are doing the Tilian Estalian War. Um, so Tilia and Estalia have been made playable in custom battles by the um, Southern Realms mod, I believe it's called. Um, today I'm commanding the forces of Tilia against, of course, Estalia. Um, or as they've been lovingly called online, uh, not Italy and not Spain, basically. Um, so yeah, you can see. Let's just quick attack. Uh, let's quick attack. Yep. Yeah. Let's take a quick look at some of the uh, new units for this mod. Um, While well, they're not quite new, um, they're essentially rehashed imperial units. But here you can see we have great sword infantry. Now these are like a state troop equivalent of the great swords of the imperials. Um, they're cheap, um, but they still do a lot of damage. We have uh, Pavis crossbowmen, which are a unique unit. Um, sadly. As the name would suggest, they aren't actually Pavis crossbowmen. Um, they do not have a shield or anything like that. Um, they're they're kind of like a mix between Bretonian and Imperial units, as you can see from their armor, um, which is pretty cool. Um, at least the units look slightly different. Here we have light cannons, which are probably the least unique unit. Um, it literally is just great cannons, only with a different name. Um, but that's fine. Here we have pikemen, and I'm very happy with how these guys look. Um, they've been given boar boy spears, I believe. Um, <laughs> it looks a little bit ridiculous, but I must say it does look really nice when you're looking from like this kind of distance. Uh, we then have Republican Guard. Now these guys look really cool, and they actually look kind of unique, um, which I like. They've been given demigriff um, halberds, I believe. Um, so that's really cool. They look really nice. Uh, and then, of course, there's just the general and captain of the Empire. They look the same. They haven't really been changed. Uh, and then we have Noble Retinue. And these are just Reich, these just look like Reichsguard, basically. Nothing super fancy there. And then we have uh, Carabiniers. I, something like that. Um, I'm not quite sure on the pronunciation. But you can see they have um, Imperial Rifles. So yeah, that's all of the um, Tilian units, but Estalia has a few different ones as well. Um, for example, Riders, which have shields and, um, I assume, pistols. Yeah, okay, never mind. It just, like, disappeared for some reason. Yeah, they have pistols and shields, which is quite interesting. Um, there's Knights of the Righteous Spear, which uh, have pretty underwhelming weapons, if I'm honest. Little tiny spears. Um, they have their own pikemen as well. Uh, they also get Royal Guard, which are a unique unit, and these are just fancy uh, handgunners, basically. And what else? Do they get anything else? Uh, they get Adventurers, which, as you would imagine, um, they're basically uh, Spanish... Oh, gosh, what are the sword and buckler men that the Spaniards used? Um, I, I'm not quite sure, but you know what I'm talking about. Like um, they, It was like Conquistadors were the cavalry, and then the... Ah, I don't know what they're called, were the swordsmen. Anyway, uh, let's let this battle go on. So you can see my cannons have started firing, if, you, uh, if you've been watching since the beginning, of course. And I kind of foolishly put my crossbows right in front of them, so <laughs> a couple of guys got like blown up. But you can see I ran some crossbows over here to start shooting at these riders that were over on my flank, and wow! The impact from those pistols sound is pretty loud. But yeah, you can see the bolts start flying in over there. Ooh, big hit. Killed a couple of guys here. Poor buggers. You can see over here the Estalians are doing a huge push. But their pikes are being met with crossbow fire, and that is devastating. And over here, we're about to have a cavalry engagement. My noble retinue are going to be charging in against the Knights of the Righteous Spear, or whatever it's called. Oh. They are, of course, going to be running away. My knights do take a few shots. But there we go. Boom! Both forces clashing into each other. My uh, carabiniers are now coming over to shoot at these guys. Very nice indeed. Oh, you can see the lines have clashed. Sadly, I missed most of it. There we go. The swords are clashing with my pikes. You can see weapons going flying everywhere as the men start fighting. The greatsword infantry has clashed with a bunch of Estalian units. And doesn't that just look epic? I think it does. But yeah, those pikemen look really good. Um, I'm quite quite happy with how they look oh yes there's a different unit here um, the black watch sorry I completely missed these guys these are another uh, unique Estalian unit and look at them don't they look amazing that is one of the coolest Imperial-esque units that I've seen 
They look absolutely amazing. It's basically just their version of the Republican Guard, but they look absolutely stunning. So everybody's getting everybody's getting mixed in, as you can see. The yellow and burgundy of Astalia versus the white and blue of Tilia. I should really turn off the... There we go. Looks a little bit better. You see this unit of pikemen fighting this lord by themselves? They're getting pretty messed up. Uh, you can see these royal guard up on this hill firing down into my troops. And over here, the um, my greatsword infantry are fighting these pikemen. You can see they're doing quite well. And uh, over here, my cavalry are still fighting. They're still taking on these uh, Knights of the Righteous Spear. But from behind, they're being shot at by my carabiniers, so they just got absolutely destroyed. And now I'm going to be going after uh, some of these other units. I really do hope eventually that Tilly and Astalia do get fleshed out by CA officially. Um, these mods are fine and all, but I really want to have them have their unique look and units. Um, where the, the pretty much all of their forces are mercenaries. So you wouldn't have everybody looking like Imperials like you do here. You'd have really specific looking units. And I feel like Tilia and Astalia would appeal to a lot of the historical players. Um, because they don't employ that many um, like fantastical creatures and such. Um, they'll have the occasional ogre and dwarfs in their armies and such. But usually they have um, very historically friendly units um like t like what i was talking about with astalia a lot of their units are modeled after um spanish units like conquistadors there we go, and all that stuff so it would be interesting to see them actually look like that in game but of course um one can only hope i'm just gonna take a quick look at these uh black watch fighting these guys they look absolutely amazing That is beautiful. You can see cannons coming in from overhead. The crossbows in the back firing. Oh, wow, that was awesome. Good timing there, looking at that. Oh, you can see our, my cavalry are charging into these royal guard. Or kind of chasing after them, I suppose. There we go. Oh, so that just killed, that just knocked down a bunch of them and killed a few as well. Excellent. Now the great swords are going to be charging into this last remaining guy, just as the pikemen decide to retreat. There you go. You can see them. Boom! Look at that, though. Holy cow! That was crazy, and all of those men were killed. That is absolutely insane. But you can see the me the melee is starting to fall apart now. My Republican Guard have joined the fight, and they've killed most of the enemy infantry at this point. Quite nice. These sword and shield, these uh, these swordsmen, whatever. Very cool. You can see over here this flank has been broken, so now my men are chasing after the enemies. The Astalians have been sent running, and these men over here are dying almost to the last man before they decide to flee. And there we go. Victory is ours, just like that. There we go. So we'll take a look at the stats of some of these units. Um, our two characters doing quite well. Uh, this unit of uh, pikemen didn't get any kills. Very interesting. These Republican Guard got four. Wow. The Great Swords really did carry um, nearly 100 kills on both of them. Um, the the Pavis Crossbowmen did very well. Our cavalry, 130 kills. Cannon, 64 kills. Wow, look at that. And then for the enemy, their lord did a lot better than mine, of course. Um, these are these swordsmen, the adventurers. They did quite well as well. Hmm. Well, very good for them. But guys, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. As always, campaigns are returning very soon. A patch is coming out today for Total War Warhammer, um, which addresses pretty much all of the issues I had with the game. And um, it doesn't really apply to my campaigns that I'm going to be doing. But Blood Knights are coming into the game, so that's pretty cool. So uh, yeah. But if you enjoyed, like I said, please be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. As always. And uh, yeah, this has been Overkill as always, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.